I'm Phil with Castle. Today I'm going to show you how to set up the stock thickness and clamp pressure on your Castle 110 pocket machine. Setting the proper clamp pressure will make cutting pockets easier, faster, and will extend the life of your machine. Let's start out by going over the three clamp positions. In the upper position, the clamp lever will be just over 45 degrees. This is our material loading position. The mid position is going to be our stock thickness adjustment position. This is also noted by the half moon cutout on the clamp lever, which will be in line with the top of the unit. In this position, we'll use the stock thickness adjustment knob to set the thickness and the pressure. The final position is with the clamp lever all the way down, and this is our clamp position. This position will firmly lock our workpiece in place while cutting pockets. Let's set up a three quarter inch piece of stock. With our clamp lever in the material loading position, we're gonna take our stock, place it on the work deck and underneath of the clamp plate. If the clamp plate is too low, we want to turn our stock thickness adjustment knob counterclockwise until we have enough room. Now we can move our clamp lever to the stock thickness adjustment position and turn the stock thickness adjustment knob clockwise until the clamp plate touches the workpiece. In general, at this point, our stock thickness and clamp pressure are going to be correctly set. Push the clamp lever down to firmly lock the workpiece in place. Now we want to verify that the workpiece is locked in place and that it's square against the fence before cutting any pockets. The clamp pressure should be set so that the clamping action is nice and smooth with minimal effort, just like this. If the clamp is loose, the workpiece will move while cutting pockets. If it's too tight, cutting pockets will be slow and we risk damaging the machine. Let's cut a couple sample pockets just to confirm that we're ready to go. You'll notice the pockets are clean, straight, with no irregularities at the bottom of the pocket. Just a note, cutting pockets too fast can also cause irregular pockets. If you have any questions about the CASA 110, any of our other pocket machines or assembly tables, please don't hesitate to reach out to us at CASAUSA.com. Stay tuned for more tips and product videos. Like, share, subscribe, and we'll catch you next time. Mm -hmm.